We got a story about a woman who is not allowed to walk until she hits puberty. What's up guys, my name is Dave Wobble and we're gonna overload you here at IO. So this is a story that's gonna be really cultural based. Yay, it's time to sit around and learn something new from Dave Walpole. But first, I wanna know from you guys, what is your most sacred and oldest family tradition? For me, on my mom's side of the family, every single girl that is born has the middle name Marie. And Marie is spelt differently than the way you'd think. So we gotta go to Nepal for this story where children are treated as goddesses. Now what I mean by goddess is I mean that children are handpicked at birth to become a spiritual and cultural leader. For these girls, they're actually known as Chimeras. I might have pronounced it wrong, I apologize. And they are thought to be incarnations of the Hindu goddess of power known as Kali. Now like I said, they're handpicked from birth and they actually go through a 32 stage test in order for them to choose which one it's gonna be. Now, if they succeed, they are actually adored by millions of people, just like me here at IO, and they are protected by Buddhists and Hindus. So let's take this girl for example. Her name is Samita, and ever since she's been born, she's been carried around on a chariot. That's right, she has never ever had to walk in her entire life. As a matter of fact, she wasn't even allowed to go to regular schools, and was only seen about 13 times a year, either it being outside of her house or at a temple. Now for these girls, they're treated as goddesses. They're worshipped and adored by, like I said, millions. But the interesting thing about them is they retire at quite an early age. As soon as they hit puberty, go through that menstruation cycle, they have to leave the whole thing. I hope they put in some retirement funds for her. Now for Samita, she's actually retired now. And it's the first time she's actually ever learned to walk. Just imagine that, being around 12 years old, and that's the first time you're learning to walk. I wonder when you learn swimming. Either way guys, it's something different here at IO, a little bit more of a cultural taste of things. But here is my question to you guys. If you could be treated like a king or a queen or a goddess, how would you use your power? Let me know down there. For good? Or for evil. <laughs> okay, guys, thanks for watching. My name is Dave Waffle, and as I always say, keep it real, keep it classy, keep it on the flip side. Out there in the real world. Peace out.